Cybersecurity needs people, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what you're waiting for, but now is the time to get into cybersecurity. What's up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the cybersecurity labor shortage that's going on in the US and around the world. So if you're still on the fence thinking about if cybersecurity or a career in IT in general is worth it, well, I suggest you go ahead and stop thinking and get your butt into gear so you can go out there and get one of these jobs making the big bucks. All right, as you can see, the headline says cybersecurity labor shortage grows worse in the U.S. and worldwide. It says the number of unfilled security jobs across the globe increased to 3.4 million over the past year, up 26.2% according to a new survey. Article says, despite the training and hiring of hundreds of thousands of new workers, the cybersecurity industry's labor shortage is only growing worse, not better. The International Information System Security Certification Consortium, known as ISC2, reports that a survey of 11,799 cybersecurity professionals shows that the total global workforce for security personnel rose over the past year to 4.6 million, a jump of 11.1%. Says the U.S. cybersecurity workforce grew to 1.2 million, up 5.5%, according to the report. Says the workforce increases are a direct result of the strong demand by customers for security tools and services amid a worldwide spike in cyber attacks. So if you haven't been paying attention to the news, and I know I haven't been doing my due diligence on putting out the news lately, but life has been happening. But for those of y'all who do recall when I was doing all these news stories, it was pretty much just nonstop stories of cyber attacks just happening all over the place. And the reason why this is because our entire lives exist on computers and databases somewhere and hackers, they never sleep. There's always something they're going after just to cause chaos and confusion, whether it's just for fun or for profit. That's just what they do. Article says, but as hundreds of thousands of people were recruited into the cybersecurity industry over the past year, demand for talent continues to outstrip supply as companies around the world scramble to shore up their security defenses. As a result, the total number of needed cybersecurity personnel across the globe rose to 3.4 million, up 26.2%. In the U.S., the number of unfilled jobs rose to 410,695, which is up 9%. So we got over 400,000 unfilled cybersecurity jobs that are waiting for people out there like you to hurry up and get certified so you can go out there and get hired and start making the big bucks. That's what that is saying, ladies and gentlemen. It says the need for workers is most critical in the Asia Pacific region, where the number of needed workers rose to 2.1 million people over the past year, which is up 52.4%. says the findings show that we are in dire need of cybersecurity professionals to enter the field. It says although we have added 460 64,000 cybersecurity professionals to the field this year alone, the workforce gap continues to grow as organizations realize the strategic importance of building their cybersecurity capabilities. Rosso added that hiring managers have told us that they need entry and junior level team members with broad foundational skills across many areas. So let me repeat that one more time. They say they need entry and junior level team team members with broad foundational skills across many areas. So what does that mean, ladies and gentlemen? They are looking for people who are entry level workers to junior level workers who know A plus, network plus, security plus. They may know a little CCNA. They may have a cloud cert or penetration testing certification. They are looking for people out there like you all who subscribe to my channel and those of y'all who join the channel memberships to go through my courses and those of y'all who are going through these consultations for this live training that I'm conducting starting in January 2023. They're looking for people like you all. That's exactly what that means. So if you're serious about entering tech and you're learning it, well, more than likely, 
there's going to be a job out there waiting for you, assuming you don't have anything crazy in your background. But even if you do have something crazy in your background, I'm pretty sure that somebody out there will hire you. But the point is, they're looking for people like you out there who are just starting out in tech and learning tech. They want y'all. So you need to take this serious, go get certified, sign up for a Tech G membership, or get on my calendar so you can participate in this live training I will be doing starting January 2023. All right. Article says specifically, we have seen that cloud security skills and experience are in high demand. Our CCSP certification is one of our most popular certifications and is designed for individuals wanting to advance in cloud security and architecture. Russell also noted that organizations have reported that they lack sufficient cybersecurity personnel among all key national initiative for cybersecurity educational categories. Says the largest shortage they face is professionals in investigative roles such as cyber investigation and digital forensics. So in case you guys don't realize this, I did a video probably like two years ago where I outlined there were at least 17 different types of cybersecurity jobs out there. And cyber investigations and digital forensics are part of that 17. There's probably more, but there were at least 17 when I recorded that video. So when you're learning tech and you're trying to get into cybersecurity, you got to understand cybersecurity is really a umbrella term. And under that umbrella, there are just many different types of lanes and paths within just cybersecurity alone that you can venture down. And like this article says, cyber investigations and digital forensics are just two lanes out of the numerous lanes that encompass the umbrella of cybersecurity. It says one way to close the hiring gap is for cyber cybersecurity companies to broaden their search field for new workers. It says to make significant inroads into decreasing the cybersecurity workforce gap, we need to recruit individuals from non-traditional backgrounds and remove economic and experience barriers that may be artificially limiting the growth of recruitment of the profession. So they want people from non-traditional backgrounds. So what does that mean? They're talking about people like you out there who have absolutely no experience whatsoever in IT and somehow you landed on the Tech G channel and hit the subscribe button because you want to learn IT. They're talking about people out there like you. That's exactly what that means. Not people who went to school for this stuff and then went into the profession, but people who are transitioning from another career into tech or people who are just getting their life started straight out of high school or college or whatever the case may be and trying to get into tech. That's who they're talking about. And also when they say they want to remove economic and experience barriers. So once again, they're talking about people out there like you. People People out there like you who don't have the money to go to a tech college, to a university to learn this stuff. And once again, you found yourself on the Tech G channel because you're interested in learning tech. They're talking about people out there like you. So I really want to drive this point home, ladies and gentlemen. I get a lot of messages from people in the comments, in the emails, asking me about tech and how they can get into tech and is tech worth it? Listen, this article is telling you that they are begging for people like you out there to go out there and learn these skills so that you can eventually get hired to work in the industry because they will hire you. Assuming you get the skills, the certs and drop a resume off on their desk, more than likely they're going to hire you, train you up to the ways of their company and you'll be off to the races, eventually making the big bucks. That's the whole point I'm trying to drive home, ladies and gentlemen. So once again, if you're interested in learning tech, go hit that subscribe button, join a channel membership where I got A plus network plus and security plus classes posted. And I keep updating that stuff as soon as I can. Also, if you're interested in learning through a live teacher student session, go to my website, Technology G. You'll see a little banner over there talking about live training. Hit the banner and book a consultation so that we can possibly get you enrolled so that you can be taught by me personally. Article says specifically, we need to bring greater diversity into the profession to solve the complex challenges within our industry. Kevin McDonald, the chief operating officer and CISO agreed that the cybersecurity sector needs to think differently about how and who it hires. Says as an industry, we need to mentor people up and bring in more women, said McDonald, who also serves as the co-chair of the CompTIA Cybersecurity Advisory Council. He said demand for security products and services just keeps growing. Companies that have been in denial for decades about their security needs are now saying, oh, we have to do something. Unfortunately, there's not enough workers in the pipeline. See, once upon a time, not long ago, there were a bunch of companies out there who didn't really place that much importance on security. Now in the year 2022, moving to the year 2023, companies are getting hacked and compromised all over the place every single day, all willy nilly. So now these companies are thinking about, man, maybe we need to do something to protect our infrastructure 
infrastructure and our data so we don't go out of business. So in order to uh, help them protect their infrastructure and prevent them from going out of business, they want to hire people out there like you who are getting skilled up out in these streets so you can go get one of these jobs to protect their infrastructure and their business. And they'll possibly pay you the big bucks to do so. Article says in its survey, ISC2 found that 20% of respondents said the lack of workers put their organizations at extreme risk, while 54% said it puts organizations at moderate risk. According to survey results, the labor shortage is specifically interfering with security categories such as risk assessment and management, the patching of critical systems and training of workers, amongst other categories. Says one survey result in particular perplexed Rosso. She's noted that the report clearly shows that a company culture heavily defines an employee's experience and satisfaction at a firm. She goes on to say, but what surprises me the most is that many organizations are not necessarily doing what is most impactful when it comes to supporting the security teams and employees. It says only 28% of cybersecurity professionals report their organizations actively listen to and value the input of all staff. Though overall employee satisfaction is considered high within the security industry, Russell said the last thing employers need to do is alienate workers amid a labor shortage. Finally, it says those who are not satisfied with the cultural aspects of their jobs share that it affects their work and response to cybersecurity incidents, and they are looking for new jobs. All right, folks, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Cybersecurity jobs are lacking out in these streets. They need people out there to fulfill these roles because the hackers are out there just hacking away, doing what they do. And they need people out there to defend their companies and their networks and their databases and all that stuff from the hackers messing up their stuff. So that's why you all need to stop playing games out in these streets and go out there, get certified. So you can go out there and get a job because like I stated earlier, chances are they will hire you. So as long as you don't have anything ridiculously crazy in your background, more than likely you will get hired if you can go in there and successfully pass a job interview. That's what's more than likely going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. But in order to get to that job interview, you need to pass these certifications. And if you're here on the Tech G channel, I'm going to say it again. Go join a channel membership. Got A+, Network+, Plus, Security+, Plus, all that stuff posted for your viewing pleasure so you can go out there and start getting certified. And for those of you who need something more than just the world's greatest slideshows put together by me, where you want to actually learn in a one-on-one -on -one style type of environment, I encourage you to go to my website, Technology G. You're going to see a little flyer on the left that says something like Tech G Training. Click the little flyer. It's going to take you to a web page. At the bottom, it's going to be a little Google calendar. Click the calendar, book a consultation date so we can talk about how the Tech G Training program works to see if it is a fit for you because we're trying to get you certified out in these streets so you can go out there and land a job, make the big bucks and start living your best life, ladies and gentlemen. Anyways, this is your boy Tech G. Hit the like button, share button, drop a comment, and I will holler at you all on the next video. So peace.